Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 6 of this QE2 tutorial. Today's focus is the ship's mast, uh, focusal details, propellers, rudder, and anything else I can think of along the way. Uh, so yeah, not going to be a big video today, hopefully. Voice hasn't recovered yet, but uh, there we go. So what we're going to do first is go to the top of the ship's uh, wheelhouse at the front here, where the black windows are, to the front centre block, which is here, and we're going to add the mast. So we're going to look, the mast is... Uh, 32 blocks back from the front wall. So this is the front block there, and you're going to count to the 32nd block back. So that's 10, 20, and 30, 31, 32. So 32 is there. So I'll put a block there like so. So that's where we're going to build. So that's basically just right in front where the ridge is. So what we're going to do on top of that block, we're going to put two, like that. And then we want two either side like so, so it's basically a 2, 2, 2, like that, and then for the sides we want 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, same the other side, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we want 2 and 2, like so, each end, and then 1 in the middle, like that. So there we go, there's, there's our design, you can't really see it because of the white background, but there you are, so it's 2 in the middle, and then 2 either side, 5 down the side, 2 going back in, and then 1 in the middle. That's what you want, okay? Right, <clears throat> so for the front, this block here, we're going to build up uh, 34 up. So we go, um, or, 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 yeah, so increase it to 34 high. So that's one already, and you want 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34. There we go. So that's 34 high there. And that does seem a bit excessive, but you know that's that. If you look on the prototype, it is pretty excessive. So yeah, that's the uh, the front part of the mast done. Now what we do now is go to the back, and we're going to build every section up now, and they're all going to lean forward and connect to the mast itself. So what we do is go to the back of the, uh, the thing we built earlier. So we'll go to the centre, this one here. And... What we're going to do is build, from here we're going to build up 10, so on the centre, 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <clears throat> and then forward of that we want 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we want uh, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3, 1, 2, 3. I think this is right, we want... Uh, Three rows of two, so we go up two, two, two. There we go. So that's uh, that one there. There you go. That's how it curves up. So I'll recap again: ten, nine, four, three, two, two, two. All right. And now what you're going to do is go to the back again and go one out to the side. This is the same on both sides. So you want to go from that one and that one there. And we're going to go up five. One, two, three, four, five. Forward of that five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want uh, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we want 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 3, 1, 2, 3. And then 2 and 2. So 1, 2 up and 1, 2 there. And there we go, that's that one. And then we do the next one along. Out one again, so we'll get on the outside here. And the outside there. I haven't done the other side yet, so I'll do that later on. I may as well do the other side. I may as well do it all while we're here. So on the other side, it's the same again. So it's up five. One, two, three, four, five. Five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three. And then two, two. There we go. That one. So that's the other side. Now we go to the outside edge, which is this one here. <clears throat> and then the back of it, uh, we go up five and five. One, two, three, four, five. Five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. And that's as far as you want to go there. So I do the same on the other side now. So it's the five and five, no, what is it? It's the, yeah, five and five, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. There we go. So that's that on there. Now what we do now is go to the back, uh, front end of the outside edge. So this outside edge here, so go to that one there. And 
basically just fill basically just build straight up to the bottom of the three at the top there so we go up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty sixty seventeen eighteen nineteen and that connects to the bottom of the top row there and then you go one forward of that which is between what we just done and the front wall there and just build straight up again until it connects uh, to the top row up there so just fit, it's basically filling in the gaps and there we go so from the side it should look something like that and then what you do is just fill in the gaps on the side like so and there we go so on the side it should look something like that kind of like a an ob -shaped scraper, ob odd shaped skyscraper if you like so I do what I do I just quickly copy it to the other side because of course I haven't done the other side yet so I just quickly copy that and then uh, both sides will be fine so we do copy flip to the right paste there we go that's just to fill in the side because I didn't uh, do it on both sides anyway there's the mast <coughs> sort of looking like that now what we do now is go to the top and go sort of three down from the top so one two three make it four fourth down and we get our court stairs which are there and what we're going to do is put them on the side upside down like that so one there on that side and one on that side and with the court slabs you're going to build one two out like that one two so it gives it that design and then what you're going to do is go if I have a look at the prototype actually I can't really see if I did add any more spurs but it doesn't really matter uh, what we do is go back down to the bottom and then go sort of five up from the bottom so from the bottom of the front go one two three four five up and in white you build forward three so one two three like that and on the sides you go one two three and the other side one two three like that and you can make it slightly curvy if you want so I just sort the other side so one two three there one two three there so you've got a sort of front that looks like that but if you want to make it a bit more curvy so you just add an extra block to the sides like so so it's uh, three in the middle and then four for each side and then with handrails this is the first time I used these I think <coughs> oh, excuse me we add handrails around the edge like so my voice is going already apologies and that's the first platform there and then what we do there is count up another say 15 from there we go up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and do the same again so forward 3 and then 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 on the other side 1 2 3 4 sorry yeah 1 2 3 4 and there we go there's the platform there and just add the handrails around the edge like that <coughs> excuse me and there we go that's pretty much the mast done you can add more detail to it if you want because remember this is just a guide you can do as much detail to it as you want but that is the mast done there nothing special but it will do that's my philosophy <coughs> apologies I keep coughing um, so yeah that's that right so that's the mast done what we're going to do now is quickly go down to the sides underneath the ship's uh, bridge wings and I don't know where exactly on the bridge wings I really should have counted this forward so what I'm gonna, I'll qu quickly go over to the prototype and sort this out properly because I've not written this down where these supports go because I'm going to put supports but I've not written where they go yet so from the end you're going to want to go one two three four five six seven eight forward the ninth block forward on the side so I just uh, go and do that the other side so yeah on the deck underneath the uh, bridge wings go to the back end of it which is here and count to the ninth block forward so one two three four five six seven eight nine and build up build up four so one two three four and build that three wide like so so it's four wide three wide and four high and then on the outside we just do it the same again so make it so it's two thickness like so so it overhangs the side like that but that's how that's how it should be and uh, there we go there's the uh, support there and to do the same on the other side <coughs> so ninth forward on the, on the side so one two three four five six seven eight nine build up four and then three wide and then double that in thickness 
over the side like that and that is how that should look and then what you want to do then is from the front of the uh, supports you're going to build a wall of white white blocks around the front of the uh, superstructure here so just do that now build the wall around the front and uh, double take on the prototype make sure I do it all right so yeah just get these walls out of the way and there we go that little job done there and there's another job going from the back of the ship support uh, bridge wing supports as well and I think basically looking, at, looking from the prototype you just go from the back of the um, bridge wing supports build to the end of the uh, deck so one two three four five six seven eight there like that and then what you want to do then is build uh, basically rows of two down so we go down one two three four five rows of two down like so and then just fill in the gaps underneath like so so you got rows of two going down like that I'm looking at the prototype to make sure I'm doing it right because uh, I can't really tell but uh, yeah it doesn't look too bad so there we are, just rows of two going down like that I'll do the same the other side so it's one two three four five six seven eight there and then down one two three four five rows of two and fill in the gaps as shown like that and there we go that's the other side done so that's that little detail done there just gives the ship a bit more silhouette if you like and uh, that's that bit done there so what I'm going to do I'm going to do a quick jump cut and get a drink and then I shall return so uh, back in a moment okay back again so hopefully my voice is a bit better right what we're going to do now is go to the uh, superstructure just below the ship's wheelhouse now where this is the ship's wheelhouse there and you're going to go down to the next deck which is there and then down to the next deck which is down here so it's basically this big wall here which is about uh, seven high I think now so one two three four five six seven yeah seven high now so this wall here we want now we're going to go to the center block which is down the bottom here and we're going to build a big cube which is uh, three blocks long so we go one two three four long like that and then it's going to be how wide is it it's uh, 11 wide so that's five either side so one two three four five that way one two three four five that way and then the sides of course four or three one two three and it should look something like that a big cube uh, well that's the base of it anyway and then you're going to increase that to uh, four blocks high so do the sides first that's two three four high like that and then across the front build it to four high <coughs> like so and then across the other side like so so there's the sort of big box there and then just add the roof which is just gray, uh, white blocks and uh, it should look something like that and there we go that's that little job done there so that's <laughs> that gray block uh, gray box added there and then what we're gonna <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is go down to the next deck which is the the deck above the forecastle so the forecastle's there and we've got this deck here which I did say previously it should be gray which it should be uh, but I didn't change it uh, well I, it's my mistake because I didn't say it's a mistake it's up to you if you want to leave it gray just this area in front I mean everything behind this wall here remains as wood but everything uh, in front of it can be changed to grey so I think I'll change it just to make sure it's the same as that one over there so this deck can be changed to grey I shall do that with world edit so I shall do replace wood with 2517 I think and yep, there we go that's that side and do the same the other side as well up to there and there we go so that's changed it to grey like I said it's not a, a major issue it's just something it's just a cosmetic thing really there's no real function but I just changed it to grey because that's what I had on the prototype so there we go there now what we're going to do now is go back to the back wall of the uh, grey deck now and <clears throat> what we're going to do is add a cargo hatch now you're going to leave a single block gap from the wall so single block gap and then build uh, 11 wide so that's one in the middle and then five either side so one two three four five that way and one two three four five that way 
The sides are 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then join them together across the front. Like so. And then build it two blocks high and just cover it up with white blocks. So, like I say, double it in height all the way around. And then add the hatch cover, which is just white blocks again. So there's that all increased in height. And then we can... Uh, Use it, fill or add add the cover like so, and I just use well edit to do this. So it's basically just white blocks to cover it up. So I use set uh, quartz for that, and that's our little job done there. So there's the cargo hatch, looking nice and neat. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what we're going to do now is go back to the back end of the cargo hatch, the ca the, the end closest to the wall, and then from the corners, the side corners, you're going to count out to the sides, and we're going to add the cranes. <laughs> cranes and they're going to be how far are they they are 11th block out to the side so we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then let me add our crane there so we build the crane body 3 wide like so so it's 11th block out and build it 3 wide I think it's 11th block yeah so it's, it's 3 wide and the 11th block out and then build it to 9 high so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 same with the other two Build them nine high, like that. Plus a line at the back on the top, like so. So it's a counterweight. <coughs> Excuse me. And then for the crane arm, you're going to go from the third block up on the side. So one, two, three up. Then we build forward eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then seven in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there we go. There's the crane there. I'm just going to have a cough a minute. Bear with me. All right, that's better. Um, yeah, so there's the crane pretty much done. You can add a crane base as well if you want to, basically with slabs just around the bottom of the crane. Like that. It's up to you how you want to do it, but that's basically the crane. Um, and do the same on the other side. So. From the outside, from the uh, back corner, eleventh block out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Build it three wide and nine high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the other two rows. And across the back. And then for the arm, third block up. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the middle. And then the base with slabs. Like so. And there we go, there's the other crane. And that's our little job done there. <clears throat> right. So one more job to do before I do a jump cut because I've got to restart the game because it's lagging like hell. So on the centre block of the front wall, just in front of the uh, so we've got the cargo hatch there, and you've got this front wall here. Now going down to the forecastle, going to remove the white centre block or red centre block, and we're going to put stairs in. So we can use quartz stairs or wood stairs. It's up to you. But basically, just build a staircase going down, single staircase going down to the uh, deck below, like so. And there's the stairs and the banisters. Two up, two up, two up, two up. There. Same the other side. Two up, two up two up, two up, and there we go. That's our little job done there. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another jump cut while I work out what to do next, because the game's lagging, and uh, let's return in just a moment. Okay, back again, so what we're going to do now is move on to the next row of cranes. Uh, so we go forward of the cargo hatch now, and uh, what we're going to do is count forward. Uh, how far forward do I want to go? I want to go to... F well, yeah, go from the front corners, like we did with the back of the... Uh, uh, the back of the cargo hatch. So go from the front corners and count forward four. So one, two, three, four, and then out ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then build a row of two forward like so. And that's the base of the crane. Now this is something which is uh, probably not accurate to the real ship because the ship did have cranes on the forecastle or on this deck here, uh, but they did move around. Well, not move around, but they were changed several times during the ship's career. And what I've done is basically built the ship with all the cranes in place. So this is sort of an inaccurate version of the ship, if you like. 
But anyway, you build it two forward like so and do the same on the other side. Then you're going to build this crane body four high, so uh, two, three, four, so basically like that. So it's a line of two forward, four blocks high. And then for the crane arm itself along the top, you're going to build uh, in, uh, in slabs eight sideways, or eight towards the centre. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. So there's your crane body and crane arm. And then for the crane support underneath, you just add slabs going diagonally up from the bottom, like so. So it should look something like that. So there's the crane body, and you've got diagonal with slabs going up like that. And then on the back of the crane body, you just add a counterweight there. <clears throat> and there you go, there's the uh, basics of a crane, if you like. Yeah, so do the same, same the other side. So crane, uh, cargo hatch four forward, one, two, three, four of the corner, and then ten out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two forward, two, three, four, high like that, and then the crane arm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the crane support underneath. Now, where did I start that? On the bottom there. I've not finished it over there actually. I've uh, left a section missing, so I've got to go back and finish that. Then do the same on the other side as well, which is what I didn't do on the other side. There we go, that's. Oh, missed one there. And there we go, and add the counterweight on the back. There we go, there's the other crane. And then do this, finish off the one I did on the other side, so finish the uh, crane support. And there we go, there's the two cranes. Now they're not, like I said, they're not specific or specifically accurate, but uh, they're there nonetheless. And then just a, just a, uh, just on top of the stairs, about two blocks to the side, add a couple, or add, a, add a couple of cubes basically. So they're two, basically a square, square like that. So one that side of the stairs, and then one this side of the stairs. So it's just basically two cubes of detail like that. <clears throat> Nothing really special, but that's that little job done there. Right, so what we're going to do now is go down. <coughs> excuse me. All right, so what we're going to do now, the front wall here. Now this is where things get a bit confusing because it took me ages to write it all down. We've got this front wall here, of course, with the staircase. Now from the staircase, on the on the top of the wall, you're going to go right out to the outside edge, where the where the wall curves back. So it goes out in rows of two here, and it curves back there. So the front of this section here which is this part here, what we're going to do is go to the second block down so you can see we've got this row of four here, so go to the front of that second block down which is this block here and we're going to count, uh, build forward four one, two, three, four like that and then underneath we add two forward like so, and then underneath that we add two down one, two, like that, and then back three one, two, three, like so, that's not right is it? Well, I fucked up some, I'm sorry, apologies there. So it's back three. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out if I've done that right or wrong. Uh, so it's forward two. Oh, yeah, I don't know what I've done wrong. So it's forward four, then two, and then down two. Right, and then behind that you go down two again. That's where I screwed up. So yeah, forward four, two, down two, down two, and then back three. One, two, three, like that. And that's that little section done there. And what you do, you just fill that in with white blocks. Like so, and it just basically creates a bit more detail to the front end. So that's that little job done there. Back in, back to the top again, or back to the the inside. And now we've got this row of two here. So where that goes four and then two, from this row of two here, you're going to count forward seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. And then underneath that you want two, two forward, and then down one like that. And then again you fill that gap in with blocks. So it's basically it's just sort of curving down by one block at a time. So it's down one there and down one there, and what it is, it's basically creating a bit more, a bit more of a sculpt to the front. And then what you do again, you do the same again. So down to the row of two again, we add seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven forward like that, and then two forward, one, two like that, and then again fill that in with blocks like so. And then lastly, from that last row of two here, we just add four forward, one, two, three, four. Like that, and that's that job done. There, so it's basically it creates a bit more of a sculpt to the front, and you can sort of see it from this angle. 
it does look a lot, it does look a bit better. So I'll do the same on the other side. Hopefully I'll try and do it a bit better this time. So I go from the centre out <coughs> to the outside to this row of four on the side here. Down one from the top, and build forward four. One, two, three, four. And then two forward, like so, and then down two, one, two. Behind that, down two, one, two, and then back three. One, two, three. There we go. And then fill that in with white like so. And then same again on the next row up, you go from the row of two, you build forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then underneath that you want two forward, one, two, and down one, like that. And then fill that in with white as well. And then same again from that row of two, you build forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven there, and then forward two underneath, one, two. And as before, fill in the white section. And then from that row of two again, build forward four. One, two, three, four. And there we go, that's that side done. And like I say, it just adds a bit more sculpt to the front end. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's that little job done there. And then from the front of that row of four, basically you just want to fill the rest in with handrails going to the tip of the bow. So I shall do that now. Fill in the handrails. Bring it all the way to the front end of the bow sort of figurehead, if you like. It's not really a figurehead, it's just a lump of white blocks, but goes all the way out to the side, or that to the front, and then once again though, if you're fam familiar with my builds, uh, where the uh, white blocks aren't on the corners here, just replace with white, so that the handrails sit on top like so, and I would do that all the way along as well, it's just a cosmetic thing, it's just something that I do, and there we go, Ooh, there we are, there's the handrails done on that side, and I should do the same on the other side. So I'll just build these handrails in place. Once again, remove the grey blocks where they're not needed. And replace, uh, put the handrails in place. Like so, and there we go, there's all the, the folks all handrails done there. <coughs> And it don't look too bad. Right, so what we're going to do now is do the focal details itself. We'll go back to the staircase on the front uh, of this wall. Now from the bottom you're going to count forward 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then one to the side, either side. Put a block and a block either side like that. And what we're going to do is build two rows of three like so. So three and three like that. And then uh, build that two thickness like so. So you've got two rows of three either side like that and then either side so from the end each end of the uh, the rows of three like so you're going to add slabs now these are going to be lines of slabs going forward <coughs> excuse me and they are 23 wide uh, 23 long sorry so that's one already 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 like so and then across the front and then do the other side like so, so it's basically a, a, a loop of slabs like so and do the same with the other ones on the other side two rows of 23 join together across the front <coughs> and there we go there's the uh, two rows of slabs and now for the anchor chains what I used is uh, what did I use stairs I used stone brick stairs now it's not a brilliant detail but it's something now in the in the groove between the slabs you just add stairs every other block like so and then the other blocks facing the other direction so it sort of makes it look like chain links but uh, not in a sophisticated way if you know what I mean so that's uh, the chain links there I'll do the same on the other loop as well like that and then the same the other side like so and there you go there's your two chains like that nothing brilliant but there we go uh, and then at each end or at the ends of the uh, chains you're just going to add two posts four blocks high like so and that little job done there <coughs> excuse me and that's pretty much it for the bulk bulk detail and then we'll just get our anvils for the uh, bollards
Now these bollards, I've not put them in any specific place on the on the uh, prototype. So these things you can put them in put them in pairs, but they don't really need to know or don't really need to go anywhere specific. So just put them along the side, like so. So you've got a pair there, then a pair pair further back, and another pair further back as well. So put put three pair you know, three pairs like so, and a fourth pair if you wish, just down here like that. So there you go, there's four pairs of bollards on the side. And I do the same on the other side. So as long as you've got them in the same place on both sides, you should be okay. But I've not put them in any any specific uh, uh, detailed dimensions of where they go. So it's up to you where you want to place them. <coughs> Excuse me. And the same with the last two there. And there we go, that's the foc'sle pretty much done. There's no real detail to the foc'sle. And... Uh, that's pretty much it for that little job done there. Um, I suppose we could leave the forecastle now and go back to the deck with the big square cube on, which is this one up here. And what we can do there is just add handrails from the cube going out to the side. So if I just get the handrails back again, which are there, we go from the front of the cube out to the sides using handrails like so out to the side like that and the same on the other side and there we go that's our little job done there and uh, that's uh, that job oh there is another job to do as well that front wall we add or that front wall of the uh, deck with the cranes on Excuse me, we can add a wall as well. So basically a wall of blocks going out to the side, but not down the side. So just basically go from the centre where the, where the stairs are and just build out to the side, but not going all the way down the side. So basically out to the side there like so. And then for the sides going down, you use handrails. So use handrails for the rest of it. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go, there's the handrails added there. And I can replace the grey blocks underneath the handrails. Like so. <clears throat> that's our little job done there. I do the same on the other side. I just keep getting in the way of things here. So that's that job done there, the handrails and the wall. Same on the other side, so the wall going from the side from the stairs out to the side. Out to there like that, and then the rest replaced with handrails, so. There we go, and then replace the grey blocks with white, like so. I did do that one over there, did I? And there we go. That's that little job done there. That deck is done, and uh, I think we can call it a day with that. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do a jump cut when I work out what to do next, and then we can move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is move to the back end of the ship, where I am now, and we're going to add the rudder and the two propellers. So we're going to add the rudder first. So we'll just uh, pop under the ass end of the ship here. And what we're going to do is go to this straight edge here, which is this straight vertical line here, right underneath. It's the center line, which is there. And what we're going to do is add four hinges from there. Now the hinges are a uh, cobblestone wall, so we need that. And then for the propellers, when we come to add those, we're going to need sandstone, and sandstone stairs, wherever they are. Uh, there they are. So those are the three materials we use. So for the for the rudder, we go from the center of this vertical line, or this vertical line on the center. And from the bottom of that, we're going to add one, two, three, four hinges like that. So it's four hinges spaced by a block between them like that. And then what we're going to do now is go back down to the end of the rudder, and not the end of the rudder, the end of the keel, sorry, down here. And what we're going to do is leave a uh, six block, no, seven block gap, no, count to the, yeah, sixth block back from the keel. So there's the keel. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, and on that sixth block is where we start the rudder. Okay, so on that on that block there, we're going to build the rudder forward or back rather. Uh, so it's the bottom is sixteen. So that's the first block. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So it's sixteen at the bottom there, like that. And then at the back end, you want to go up 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
and then one forward and then underneath that you want to go forward uh, 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 10 up to the hinge there and then from that hinge you want to go down 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then forward 4 1 2 3 4 and then 2 underneath 1 2 and then down 1 2 like so to connect up like that so there's the rudder shape like that and then we just fill in the rest with red blocks so I'll just get that all filled in and I think I use world edit for this thing otherwise I'd be here all day <coughs> so I'll use uh, set 251 by 14 and that fills in the uh, rudder like that and there we go that's a big big panel known as the rudder now for propellers what we're going to do is go back to that bottom uh, bottom hinge for the keel, a uh, bottom hinge for the rudder rather. This hinge here, and go from the re uh, red wood, uh, the red block forward of that hinge. So there's the hinge, there's the red block, which is basically on the corner of the end of the ship. Now what we're going to do for the propellers, we're going to count up to the third block. So that's the first block, two, three, third block up, and then we go count forward nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on that ninth block, we we build out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, we add that uh, sandstone there. So that's the centre of the uh, propeller there. So it's seven blocks out. So it's recap again: three up from the corner, nine forward, wasn't it? Yep. And then seven out. So I remove those six white blocks there, which I don't need. And there's the centre of our propeller. Now behind the propeller we'll add uh, a red block or basically a line of red blocks. don't know how many exactly but just build a line of red blocks all the way back or forward till it blends in and connects with the hull there like so. Now for the propeller itself <coughs> excuse me, we're going to build uh, one, for, uh, one back like so and then on this first stone, uh, sandstone block we're going to build the propeller blades. Now the blades are going to be three up and then two out and then one on top like so so it's shaped like that same the other, same on the side three out two down and one so it's shaped like that on the bottom we build down three one two three two in and one there and the same again one two three in one two up and one there so that's the shape of our propeller without the sandstone stairs and now we add the stairs on there and there and I'm just trying to think actually is the right shape stands there there and there and a block there so yeah that's fine yeah yeah so where, where we go for the three out and the two down we'll add another block in there like that and that builds the bulk for the propeller blades so we just build the blades with the stairs like so and there we go that makes it easier like that so do the same in this corner here there and then we replace with the stairs 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 and stairs and then lastly on this last one here add a block there so it's basically three three and one really isn't it yeah so anyway put the stairs 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 and stairs and there we go there's the propeller in place there now for the for the uh, propeller shaft we've got the shaft in place but we we'll go two blocks third yeah second block away from the uh, propeller we we'll just build up two two and then one two three in like so and then we just blend in that section all the way forward like so it's just basically build forward all the way forward until it connects with the hull <coughs> and blends in like so and there we go there's the propeller blade and shaft in place and it should look something like that I know I didn't explain it very well but <coughs> that's me and that's that one does. You do the same on the other side, hopefully with a bit better uh, 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 explanation, but never mind. So I should do it quickly, copy that to the other side, and hopefully that will be both propellers in place. So I just quickly copy, so we do copy, flip to the right, or left, whichever way, and then paste. And there we go, there's the two propellers in place, and it should all look something like that, in theory. And they don't look too bad. 
So that's the uh, two propellers in place, the rudder in place, and all the forecastle details done, and the mast as well. I know I didn't, didn't uh, say we're going to do a lot today, but that's the th that's that. So uh, I'm going to let my voice rest, and then we can come back and do some major jobs. So the major jobs in the next part will be uh, the funnel. That will be in part seven. Um, <clears throat> and then other details as well. So the funnel, uh, top details, windows on the side, details on the stern, and... Yeah, that'd be pretty much it for the structure of the ship, and then after that, would be lifeboats, really. So I probably could get the last jobs done in the la uh, when, in one video. So yeah, this uh, still quite a bit to do, but uh, overall, it's not too bad. I think we, I think we might be able to get things done in part seven, but we'll see. There's definitely one part at least, um, part two parts maybe, but we'll see. But uh, anyway, that's it for part six. Part seven is everything I've just explained. The uh, funnel and other details but like I say we might be able to get everything finished in part 7 but we'll see but we'll leave it at that so this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing and I shall return in part 7 I think so uh, yeah bye for now